We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, join me as I thank the Lord for the gift of life. Today I celebrate my 27 years of existence. Also join me to thank Him for calling me into this life of service and sacrifice. That through the help of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Manawak, I am now a priest. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I must pause, not that it is profitable, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who fourteen years ago, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up to the third heaven. And I know that this man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard ineffable things which no one may utter about this man I will boss but about myself I will not boss except about my weaknesses although if I should wish to boss I would not be foolish for I would be telling the truth but I refrain so that no one may think more of me than what he says in me or hears from me because of the abundance of the revelations therefore that i might not become too elated a thorn in the f in the flesh was given to me an angel of satan to beat me to keep me from being too elated Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boss most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that, that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I 
am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and takes delight in prosper prosperous days? Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into the barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, Add a single moment to your lifespan. Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ilan sa mga tiyak na karanasan ng marami na dulot ng pandemya ay ang pagkabagabag, pagkatakot, pag-aalala at pangamba. Hindi lamang sa ating bansa, kundi sa buong daigdig, kundi sa buong mundo. Marami sa atin ang nangangamba ang nag-aalala dahil ngayon malusog, bukas baka mahina na. Ngayon mayaman, baka bukas mahirap na dahil nalugi ang negosyo. Ngayon buhay, 
baka bukas ay abo na lang. Maraming pangamba, maraming pag-alala ang naidulot sa atin ng pandemyang ito. We have been worried and anxious about many things. We worry about our health, our work, our future. And this brought us stress, fatigue, frustration, and even depression. Yung dating akala natin sigurado, wala palang kasiguraduhan. Yung dating alam natin na kontrolado, hindi pala natin kontrolado ang lahat. But you know what, brothers and sisters in Christ, the lessons that we can get from this pandemic, we are not in control of everything. We are but limited and finite human beings. But God is in control of everything. God is bigger than our worries and fears. God is bigger than our problems and anxieties. God is bigger than all our worries. In our gospel for today, Jesus reminds his disciples, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about what you will eat, what you will drink, what you will wear. Look at the bear, birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap, but your heavenly Father feeds them. Look at the wild flowers. They do not work or spin, but they are clothed well. If the birds in the sky, if the wild flowers in the field, God provides for this, how much more for you? How much more for us? Kung mahal ng Diyos ang mga ibon, kung mahal ng Diyos ang mga bulaklak, tayo pa kaya na kanya ding nilikha, kawangis niya. The reminder of Saint Padre Pio to all of us, Worry is useless. Instead of worrying, pray, hope, and do not worry. First is pray. Manalangin, magdasal, sa halip na nababagabag, sa halip na nag-aalala, manalangin sa Diyos. Ang tanong ay papaano po ba tayo nananalangin? Kuminsan sa ating panalangin, palaging hingi, pengi nito, pengi noon. Akala natin ang pananalangin, tayo lang ang nagsasalita, tayo lang ang humihingi sa Kanya. We have forgotten to listen. In prayer, listening is important. Because God speaks to us in silence, and the language of God is silence. Listen. Makinig. Ano ba yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin sa panalangin? Ano ba yung gustong iparating sa atin ng Diyos? Huwag lang sanang tayo yung salita ng salita. Pakinggan din natin ng Diyos. Ano ang sinasabi niya sa atin? Mas maganda pa nga ang sabihin, Panginoon, Ikaw na po ang bahala sa lahat. Isinusuko ko na po lahat, lahat sa inyo. I surrender all that I am and all that I have to you because I know that you are my God. Pray. Second is hope. Ang isang taong may pananampalataya, ang isang taong sumusunod sa Panginoon ay isang taong may pag-asa. May pag-asa dahil palaging 
nakikita ang liwanag kahit nasa paligid ay puno ng kadiliman. May pag-asa dahil nakatoon sa Panginoon. May pag-asa dahil ang sentro ng buhay ay si Kristo. Hope, the second message for all of us, may pag-asa dahil may Diyos na nagmamahal. At nawa kapag naaninagan natin yung pag-asa, naaninagan natin yung liwanag, tayo rin ay maging pag-asa, maging tanda ng pag-asa sa ating kapwa, magbahagi ng liwanag dun sa mga nasa kadiliman. Let us become source of hope, source of light, and that light that comes from God. And third, don't worry. Huwag tayong mag-alala. Sinasabi nga sa ating Ebanghelyo, tignan ninyo ang mga ibon sa impapawid. Tignan ninyo ang mga bulaklak sa parang. Mahal na mahal ng Diyos ang mga yan. Kung mahal ng Diyos ang mga ibon, ang mga bulaklak, higit tayong mahal ng Diyos. Because we are more than many sparrows. We are more than many flowers in the field. Do not worry. Kung ibinigay ng Ama ang kanyang pinakamamahal at bugtong na anak para iligtas tayo sa ating mga kasalanan, mayroon pa kayang hindi kayang ibigay ang Diyos kung para naman sa ating ikabubuti. Do not worry. God will always provide. God will always take control. We are here at the foot of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Manawag. At alam ko na marami sa atin pumunta dito daladalang mga pangamba, ang mga pag-aalala, daladala yung ating mga problema. Isuko natin ang lahat ng ito sa pahanan ng mahal na ina at hingi ng kanyang tulong na ilapit tayo sa puso ng kanyang anak na si Jesus. Our Lady of Manawag, our mother, is our mother who calls. She calls us to pray, to hope, and not to worry. She calls us to surrender everything that we are and everything that we have to God. She calls us and she will bring us closer to the heart of His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. The Gospel calls us to be single-minded in our service of God. May our prayers to the Father express that quality of trust and devotion. Let our response be, Father, we thrust our cares to you. Father, we thrust our cares to you. That the church leaders may devote themselves tirelessly to the furthering of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we trust our cares to you. That we may realize the need to show care and concern for the poor and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we trust our cares to you. That we may live in complete submission to the will of God and never become anxious concerning matters that are not worth worrying about. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we trust our cares to you. That the sick may experience the love of God through the expression, compassion of those who are cared for life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we trust our cares to you. That the faithful departed and to eternal repose of Abigail Colombino, we share in Christ victory over death. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, we trust our cares to you. You also include among our intentions for the eternal repose of the souls of Remedios Cunanan, Arsenio Cunanan, Lydia de Leon, Alan Arbilon, Rogelio de la Rosa, and all the poor souls in purgatory. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Father, we trust in you. May we never set our hearts on material things, but on your loving presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Socrates, with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the prayer for the blessings of the sick and rosaries and other religious articles, I would like to express my gratitude and thanks to our Dominican friars and brothers and Brother Raymond for the opportunity to celebrate Mass here today, especially very special day for me. Prayer for the blessings of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your, ble by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
prayer for the blessings of rosaries and other re religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.